This is week 47 on HRT. I haven't measured my um, breast since this morning, since I took my hormones, so I'm going to do that now. When I did this morning, it was 35 and a half. That makes them an 8 and a half. So I'm going to measure them now. Um, this is basically how you do it. You come down here, measure, see what number it is. If it's even, then you add four. If it's odd, you add five, and that's your band size. So it says I'm a 30. That means my band size is a 34. And up here, make sure it's flat across the back. Then, fourth part of the bus. And it is. Right there. The little silver mark is a 35 and a half. So that means. Because for the past, um, yeah, um, the past couple of days, I think it was since Wednesday through Thursday, yeah, when I've been measuring them, they've been consistently at 35 and a half in the morning before I took the hormones and after I took the hormones. So that means they're permanently at 35 and a half and they haven't gone down. So this is basically what they look like. It's kind of hard to see in this shirt, but they're a lot bigger because I looked at the images I took earlier compared from last week. It's like a lot bigger. And I haven't put makeup on and this is what my face looks like now. Here's why I have my makeup on because yesterday I had laser and I didn't put it on since. So I can see where um, things were healing where I needed to put ice on and stuff. So that doesn't mess up the makeup and stuff. And the only other thing I can think of that has changes besides my breasts and face it's just my leg hair is still decreasing my body hair is like decreasing it's like growing slower my leg hair is decreasing but the rest of my body hair doesn't seem like it's decreasing it seems like it's growing a lot slower and the only other thing I can think of is much softer skin a lot softer. My sex drive has gone down dramatically a lot on a scale of 1 to 10 from down to like almost a zero, zero and a half, maybe one. Um, I do have a decrease in sperm, if, so I'm still not quite sterile, but there's just been a decrease, so I have that going for me. See what, I'm trying to think of what else has changed. My hairline looks like that. It's been gaining hair still. Um, a big update. I recently got the papers for my gender name change on last Saturday last week. Yeah, it was last week. And 
I recently basically recently contacted well this would give out where I live it's basically the Utah Pride Center I recently contacted them to see if they could help me fill out the papers correctly so I can get it so they pass in court better and um, I'm going to see them Monday to get that filled out and all that so that's basically where I'm at in my transition right now I'm getting ready to do my gender name change my body's doing good I'm feeling good I feel more like me than I ever have and it just felt just terrific felt a lot better since my hormones started really leveling out and going normal and actually developing my body more so I'm much more happier now and the pain in my breasts hasn't gone down at all this 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 morning when I woke up it was around an eight then it went to a nine in pain level like from one to, from like a one to ten scale so you have a scale from one to ten it was an eight then it went to a nine and right now where I feel the pain right through here and it's about a four maybe this it's on scale one to ten the pain's a four so that's where I'm at in my transition right now so until next time um comment rate and subscribe